All right, I'm gonna show you real quick how I do a pass-through mixed reality experience with Unity using my Oculus Quest 2, and then also using that with uh, virtual reality interaction framework. Uh, that way I have just a little bit more control of what's going on in the scene. All right, we're gonna get this started really quick and just go right into it. First of all, we're gonna need a few assets to make this work. Unity version 2020 or later, uh, Oculus integration, VR interaction framework, XR plugin manager, Oculus XR plugin, and then make sure that the Oculus integration is upgraded. The first thing we're going to do when we uh, get the project open is we're going to switch the platform to Android under the build settings, then going to go into the uh, actual project settings and we are going to switch a few things. We're going to get the time switch to 1 over 90. We're going to, under quality, we're going to change the VSync to don't sync. We want to make sure the XR plugin management is set to Oculus. We also want to set the PC tab to Oculus because we're going to want to check to make sure that at least the VR part of it's working while we're still in Unity when we have our headset hooked to uh, the PC. Then under the player settings, we're going to change the color space to linear, the multi-thread rendering to off, make sure that the minimum API level for the Android is of 26, the IL2CPP is the back end, and instead of ARM7, we want to switch that to ARM64. Back into our project, we're going to go to the Oculus tab, go to Sample Framework, Usage, the Pass-Through, Scenes, and then Augmented Object Scene. Then make a copy of that, uh, and then take that copy and put it into your Scenes folder. We want to keep that Augmented Object Scene intact the way it is, just in case we need to go back to it, and we don't want to make changes to that actual scene. Now, to, now that we're in our copy of the Augmented Object Scene, you could, of course, rename it if you want, or it's not really necessary that you do. But we're going to uh, drag in an XR rig advanced into the scene from uh, VRIF. We'll want to create a floor because with VRIF, it uses gravity, and we do want to use that. So we want to create a floor so we don't go through it. We want to make sure that the floor is big, at least 20 by 20 from what I've found. And then uncheck the mesh renderer so that you're not seeing the floor in VR. Of course, if you use an AI and you're gonna use the nav mesh, you'll need to turn the mesh renderer back on while you bake, uh, and then you can turn the mesh renderer back off again. We also wanna add the following components to our XR Rig Advanced. We want the OVR Camera Rig, OVR Manager, OVR Headset Emulator, and OVR Pass-Through Layer. On the OVR Manager, you wanna check the pass-through capabilities enabled and then enable pass-through. Also make sure tracking origin type is set to floor. Uh, that's, there's going to actually be two places where you're going to make sure that that's set in the XR rig and then also in the OVR manager. Under the OVR pass-through layer, we want to make sure we switch that to underlay. Then on the XR rig advanced, under the center eye anchor camera, we want to change our clear flags to solid color and our background to black. And make sure that the A is set to transparent. That's one of the mistakes I was making originally is I had didn't have that center transparent and when I was trying to do the augmented reality or mixed reality stuff, I was just getting black around instead of being able to see through. Also make sure that your center eye is set as main camera. We then want to disable the OVR camera rig. And then under the XR rig advance, this is one thing that was really stumping me in the beginning, uh, but you'll see that there's a new hierarchy that's been added uh, by the OVR rig. It's a it's a whole nother like, um, it's a whole nother tracking and camera and hand anchors and all that type of stuff. And it was just created and put into our XR rig by one of the scripts that we added to our XR rig. If you delete it, if you just go ahead and delete it, one of those scripts is going to re-add it. So you cannot delete it. What you need to do is you have to just disable it to make everything work right and just leave it there. Next, bring an object into your scene. Every tutorial I've seen on VR or AR, the first one that they show you, they have a cube. Don't be like everybody else. I'm not gonna be like everybody else. I'm gonna use my favorite Jedi, or not a Jedi, if you will, uh, Sokotano of mine. Make sure that your current scene is added to build settings. It's very important. And then on your Quest 2, make sure that pass-through is enabled. Uh, if you want a really cool experience, like being able to walk around your whole house, then on, and if you have the developer options, then you can disable the Guardian and just kind of walk around 
Um, this is really cool if you add some AI to your objects or your characters in the uh, Mixed Reality project. Uh, you can actually see them walk around your house. Anyway, if you have any questions on anything I did there, or if you feel like I missed a step or anything like that, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to answer you as quickly as possible. And uh, hopefully you can make some really cool stuff with uh, Pass Through with uh, Quest 2. I'm really, really enjoying this feature. So everybody have a great day and uh, we'll talk to you later.